Hi everyone. A couple people have been asking about how to get the total cost of a user's cart using Botsheet's carts. So Josh Barkin and I did a webinar the other week showing you how to use uh, Botsheet's to create a shopping cart. Uh, one thing that we didn't go over was how to get a total for things that were in your cart. So what I did was I went through and I added this ability um, and I'm going to do a kind of a walkthrough of the steps that I went through to add the ability to look at the total cost of a user's cart. So what you want to do first is make sure you watch that full webinar. Um, we go over the entire flow on um, the entire template, uh, the flows. We, we look at this new bot sheets ability to remove rows from a Google sheet. So you want to start there, um, really understand how the template is working and then follow these steps to add that ability. And I am going to add this um, ability to the template, so you won't have to do this all manually, but it's good to understand how it all works. Um, okay, let's get started. First, what I did was I looked at the products uh, sheet that you have, and I added a column for price, and then I filled in a bunch of random prices here. So that's easy enough. Um, here's all your products, and they all have a price associated with them. Okay. Now, in the add to cart flow, what I did was I looked at this um, bot sheets text request here. And if you remember from the webinar, there's a part where you look up a product using a product ID, and we looked at, we look at the product sheet for um, a column G uh, that equals the, the product ID. So let's say, for example, the product ID is one, we're going to get back everything from this row. And then I added the response mapping to just pick out uh, the price. So if you look at response mapping, um, there we go. Okay, if you look at response mapping, um, I'm picking out the price from the request. Also the title and the image are coming along too and they're being saved to user fields. So now we have the price of a particular product. So that's useful because we then write that to the Google Sheet. So in this write to sheet uh, node here, remember these are called nodes, there is a part where I actually write the user product price to the subtitle um, header of the Google Sheet, and I write that into the cart sheet. So there's a sheet called carts, and you can see that I already have, I have dresses and I have t-shirts and I, have, I just added the hoodies at the start of this video. And in the column called subtitle, there's a price there. So you can see that shows up here on the card uh, as $20. Um, and then what we're going to do is add up all of these just for me. So remember everyone's items for all of their carts show up in this sheet, in the cart sheet. But um, when I, view my cart, I'm only looking for my user ID. So once you have a price added somewhere in the sheet, you can then uh, view the cart. And when you view the cart, um, we are looking at just my user ID, where C contains user ID. So that's uh, this column here. And we're going to uh, see the cart and that's fine. Then what happens is we're going to call this new flow uh, called get cart total price. And this is a little bit different, a little bit tricky. Um, what's going on here is, and again, this is all going to be in the template, um, a special query. It's going to sum, uh, get the sum of a particular column, in this case, column uh, G, oops, let's move over to column G, has all the prices. So we're going to sum up column G, where C contains my user ID. So I only want to get my, um, my cost, not someone else's. So then we are doing a bot sheets text request. So this won't return a gallery. It's just going to get um, a JSON. So I can kind of show you what that looks like. Uh, say a JSON, um, this is it, this is the whole thing, and there is a key that is some subtitle and that's 60. So then what we do in response mapping is we get that some subtitle 
and we save it to a user field called user cart total. So that's, uh, that's 60, that's the total of your cart. And so we can then just print it out. Your cart total is $60. So I hope that was clear enough to understand. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.